Uh, yeah, maybe, maybe in the future. I mean, I, I think, I think a lot of people are either really turned on or really turned off by their f- early experiences with traditional martial arts. Yeah, it's almost like, it's like a disillusionment. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think actually, you know what it is. Oh, go ahead. You know what it is? It's uh, you know I've I've encountered that a lot. Uh, uh, it it's uh, it's the fact that they are looking to see something uh, uh, straight out of a Donnie Yen movie. You know? <laughs> uh, well, they, 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 that's that's number one, which is uh, you know mostly a misrepresentation of martial arts in general, I think. But uh, they they. Um, they, or you know, for example, they they, ex, they expect to see uh, you know the things done the way they done in basic training, zibun gun. You know, uh, they they there's no connection in their mind. They're, they're like uh, they don't see that it's really you know uh, it's right there. It's right in front of their eyes. You know, like uh, uh, they, they they expect to to see like these stiff postures you know uh, uh, something like that like it's uh, they don't understand that it's in, in in dynamics of the whole thing it's it's in the movement if you freeze it you will see it you know yeah I, I, I'd agree I think I think a lot of it a lot of it is people's mindset uh, mindset going into it I mean mm, yeah a lot of people do have that that frame by frame aesthetic that they they look for because of the way Chinese, Japanese, and other arts are are presented, right? And I think yeah, if you're doing a if you're doing a form, it's it is aesthetic, uh, aesthetically pleasing. Although it might take away from the uh, usefulness of the form in terms of like training, because you know yeah, I'm just gonna hit and pose. Okay, continue. No, like no, no, you're not going to do that. Um, yeah, I think that's that, I think that's part of it. And I think another part of it is that a lot of these traditional Chinese martial arts have become sort of cultural vessels, self-continuing. Uh, this is the way we they did it. This is the way I'm passing it on. It it seems it can seem kind of pointless if there is a disconnect maybe because the teacher's ability is not there or maybe because the students aren't properly taught the context of things maybe because they aren't competing but when there's a disconnect between i'm working this hard i want to be a fighter i'm working this hard doing this deep and going and all these drills spending all my time on this i'm not seeing those tangible results i'm not going in there and just knocking out the dude I should be able to, I'm told I should be able to, but I'm not. And every other person in this place doesn't seem to really care anyways, because they're just kind of, I don't know, doing this, doing this uh, as a, I don't want to say a uh, hobby, because you can, you can take it as a hobby where you actually want to be able to fight people, but uh, they're taking this as a leisurely recreation, le- leisurely recreation, right? Uh who let's uh counting Cantonese while we you know counting Mandarin while we sit in horse stance and then we do these drills and like oh well do you think they really did it this way or let's get into long conversations about Fa Jing and all this stuff like I don't know I I, I, I personally get a little angry but you know I, I think there are a lot of people that want to fight or come from a background where they feel like they need to be able to fight even if they don't want to be us combat athlete you know they get they can definitely be disillusioned by this stuff this is why i personally did not want to do uh usu when i was uh when i was young but i ended up because well i met uh sufu randy brown he kicked my ass and i was like all right cool i guess this is I guess this works <laughs> uh but before i was looking at uh kun kamai which is like cambodian muay thai basically I was like, oh, look, they kick, they sweep, they punch, they knee, they elbow. Okay, cool. <laughs> I see it. So yeah, I think I think the only the only way we can turn around that perception is just to just to do real shit. 
you know, put, put stuff out there. And it's weird because I think there's a weird cultural thing where a lot of guys who have real shit don't like to promote. And I know that there's a Chinese cultural value, which I think rubs off on practitioners because you're taking part in a Chinese thing that, you know, it's like an old black man once told me like the empty wagon creaks the loudest. Right. And I think there's a lot of, uh, people who are good at this stuff that don't want to have to talk about it a lot because it's a cultural thing. Like, no, I'm just going to focus on doing my thing, but it's the modern day. Like if you don't, if you don't market, the young people don't know. Right. You know, if, it's, if it's, this stuff's not on TikTok, Instagram, and in the UFC, people don't see it that much unless they're already obsessed with this stuff and they, you know, they're looking for it. I think a lot of this attitude, uh, like, for example, not wanting to change anything or add anything, is not how it was historically. Because uh, we see uh, every generation of, uh, you know, Wushu practitioners in the old days adding stuff on. Yes. So they were learning some that somewhere, you know, they picked it up somewhere. They, they would add stuff on all the time. They added Nagon. Nagon was not there, you know. I mean, the whole pre Mantis stuff was not there. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Uh, you know, whoever uh, learned this learned uh, at least two different styles, at least two different styles, and, and merged them together uh, using the new principle that he came up with, you know, uh, supposedly, right? Yeah. And then, you know, next generation added more, next generation added more. Uh, you know, it's a natural process. Uh, and for some reason now it's like, well, you can't add anything new anymore. <laughs> I, I, well, I, this I, is I, where I, we start. I attribute that to an old man's ego. You know what I'm saying? I attribute that to an old man's like, no, this is the way I taught you. Never change. <laughs> I think if, I think when they, they, they had to deal with the realistic scenarios of getting killed and stuff like that, they, they were more, you know, willing to learn new stuff. It works, it works. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Good stuff. I mean, every generation of uh, Mantis came out different because it's just a bunch of guys who could fight who also learned some mantis and they're like, all right. Yeah. Cool. I mean, how come there is so many styles of mantis? I mean, it's like, yeah. you know, a bunch of styles and they, there's so many variations within the styles. That, yeah, that's true. That's true. So yeah, I don't, I, don't, I think, I think the best way to like, you know, Manoj, like you were saying, like, uh, how do we uh, tackle this sort of perception? I think it's just to put legit stuff out there. And people who want, you know, fighting capability are going to be attracted to it. People who, people who don't, they already have their thriving community. <laughs> They're already up in the mists of Udang Mountain, you know, they're already doing their thing, right? So, you know, I think people like us, where we really want to dive into what is the context? Okay, what is this technique? What is the mindset? What are the body mechanics? What are the tactics? How do we apply this? People who are like, think like us, um, whether we want to be combat professionals or we want to be trainers or we're just ultra passionate hobbyists. It doesn't, I think we all have a place as far as mm. contribution and uh, just showing real shit. You know, I think even if someone were to go to an MMA match and lose, but if they pulled off a bunch of very successful things that were just highly wusu, people are going yeah. to notice They'll be like, oh, it's too bad. His cardio wasn't good enough. Oh, his uh, ground game wasn't good enough. His whatever wasn't good enough. Oh, he got the timing was off, whatever. It happens to anybody, right? Just because somebody loses doesn't mean suddenly Greco Roman is useless or Muay Thai is useless. Right, right. The individual lost. But if they saw him successfully use his, some of his stuff, okay, All right? I think, uh, I think, I think gradually things will change. Um, and I think the styles where the people are not invested in showing legitimate stuff, they will naturally go extinct as far as a martial art is concerned. I think people still do whatever that is, but I think it won't be considered mm. like a martial art someday. Um, because I think it's there's going to be eventually a clear division between the people who are like doing it and people who are doing something a little different. Yeah. Yeah. I think I, so I think I think the problem you you bring up is uh is actually a problem that's going to gradually kind of solve itself. Cuz like 
we're not getting paid for this and we can't sit right. idly, we can't sit idly by and not do it. I don't know why we, we love doing this shit. <laughs> and we, and none of us have to fight to get by, but we all love being able to fight and we love understanding the body mechanics and the tactics and techniques behind it all. So I think this, this, this stuff will live. And when we find somebody with, uh, or when we've attracted enough people who have this kind of motivation as well, but they're 17, 18, and they want to bang. Uh, maybe they're not that good at other stuff. Hey, you know, I think the future is bright. I think this, right. just, I think this shit will work out. Thank you for coming right, to my yeah. TED talk. <laughs> <laughs> We could uh, we could do uh, uh, you know another one where, where we have more people you know uh, discuss more. more different opinions more discussion yeah yeah I think so I think so this is great yeah it's great good great good talking again it's uh, fun I learned a lot thank you yeah I've got a lot to think about tomorrow when when I wake up again all right John, I'm, gonna end, <laughs> I'm gonna end this recording.